Hey guys, Rich Gannon here, Cleveland's Real Estate Guy. Want to take a minute today and talk to you a little bit about the value of a home inspection. You know, everybody always says when you purchase a home, you should, you, you, you need to have a home inspection. Nobody really tells you why or really tells you the, the value in it other than, you know, it can, it can save you from the home. So let, let you know, let's, let's, let's start through, you know, what the home inspector's job is. The home inspector, his job is not to come in and to tear a house apart. You know, their, their job is not to come in and say, you know, this house, this house is terrible, this house has issues. The job of the home inspector also isn't to come in and say, this is the greatest house in the world, you know, this house has no flaws, there's nothing wrong. The value of the home inspector is that he's going to come in um, and he or she is going to evaluate the home and it's going to give you a manual. Um, we call, as realtors, we call that an inspection report. Um, to, to buyers, I call that your homeowner's manual. You know, you're buying a home. It's probably one of the largest investments you've ever made. And you want to make sure that what you're purchasing is real and has value. And you want to make sure that what you're purchasing isn't going to cost you a ton of money in the, in the long run, right? So the home inspector's job is to walk through the home and diagnose little issues. You know, this outlet here is not GFI certified. You need to upgrade that. It's $1.25 at Lowe's or Home Depot. You know, go ahead and, you know, you can go ahead and swap that out. You know, otherwise, the, they might be looking at bigger things. You know, there's a huge crack in the foundation that you might not have missed, or that you might have missed, rather. Um, you know, we, we should probably get a structural engineer out here to certify the basement and to tell us if there are any other issues. You know, other things, of, you know, I'm not a roofer. You might not be a roofer. Do you know, can you, can you look at a roof and go, yeah, that roof is X number of years old and it is blah, 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 blah. You can't, and neither can I. So the home inspector is going to check out, check out the roof and they're going to look for blemishes and they're going to try and give you an, an average age of what your roof is and you know, how long you can expect. They're also going to look at things like the gutters. How are the gutters hanging? Walk through the basement. You know, how are the rafters? You know, they're, going to, they're going to go room by room, look at the ventilation, check the furnace, check the water heater. All sorts of things that you and I are probably not experts in. So the home inspector's job is to come in and give you a report on your home. And his, you know, their job is to come in and not, not to tear the home apart, not to, not to, but it's to give you an unbiased third-party opinion as to why you need a home inspection. So when the next time somebody goes, oh, are you, are you really going to spend money on a home inspection? You probably should just say, yeah, absolutely, I am. It's the largest investment I've ever made. Uh, why wouldn't I? You know, little thing, it's little things that having a knowledgeable, friendly realtor you know, real estate professional with you that can help guide you through this process because we do it all day long. You might only do it once, you know, every five, seven years maybe. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Contact information is below. Uh, feel free, any questions, comments, concerns, I'd love to hear them. Other than that, I will see you in video number two.